Hey, sisters, welcome. Happy new moons, new moon, girlfriends. <laughs> Hanging out in the RV, getting ready to pull these cards, and I just had a moment of pretty serious frustration because I could not get the internet connection to work. Right now, I'm in a place where internet, I guess, is not a priority. So it seems like no matter what I do, the connection is always kind of wonky. And that's terribly frustrating when you run your entire business online. So I'm just tapping in, uh, first of all, to note how quickly and how easily it is that we get pushed into that place of anger or like just frustration, that hot, acidic feeling. And I'm also recognizing that this new moon is like t trying to temper us. It's trying to teach us and to give us the space to grow into the beings that we are looking to become. So wherever you are on this process, on this road of spiritual awareness or in your business or in your self care, in your family or relationships, how you show up for yourself, I want you to tap into your personal integrity around who you are and tap in more deeply into pause, into the silence, into the spaces between the thoughts and let yourself rest there so that when that next hot or angry or whatever thought comes through, you can kind of become a witness to where you are, what you're thinking, and then like you get to take responsibility for how you act. So just a quick side note there. <laughs> All right, girlfriends. So I'm just going to take a minute and I invite you to sit with me in this space. Take a couple deep breaths with me. May we receive what we need. All right, I'm so excited to do this new moon reading for you all. It's a wild new moon. If you haven't felt the energy, that's okay. Just um, notice where the mind is traveling. Notice what's coming up for you, either in relationships or business or self-care. I'd love for you to drop me a line, either in the group or DM me via Instagram. What's coming up for you? because it ain't easy right now. It ain't easy. And we're being called to rise. So here we go. The first card that I pulled is the five of pentacles. And the five of pentacles, as you can tell, it's focused. Everything is kind of coming together. And you can see here, there's a little bit of like a harvest happening. So what this is telling me is that our work right now is in a place, this is kind of our now energy, is coming to this place. We're getting greater stability. We're getting greater balance. We're starting to see the fruits of our labor. It's also, it's a five. It's not a nine or a 10. So five tells me that we're like halfway there. <laughs> we're halfway there. We're not quite there, but we're starting to see a little bit of co comeback. And it doesn't just have to be financial. It can also be spiritually. It can also be in relationships or self-love. We still have a journey to make, but we're starting to see some of the benefits of the work that we're doing. And that can be even coming into this sacred space and tuning into this reading and just being like, oh, I'm showing up for myself. And it feels good. The next card that I have pulled is the Ace of Swords. And I love this card because this is a space of we need to make a decision. We need to make a decision and we need to step up, step in to who we're becoming. So if you've seen my Instagram and you've kind of tapped into where I'm at personally in my life, like the call to rise right now is a fierce one. And I literally have no choice but to listen because if I keep choosing to like fall back, to step back, to be, to hold myself down, I will only increase my suffering and increase the amount of time it takes me to receive my dreams and to create the impact that I'm wanting to create in my life right now. 
So this is interesting. When you look at this pair up too, this could also be in relationship to how we create wealth. So having to make a big decision about how we create wealth and well, let's see where it takes us. Okay. All right. The perfect card, <laughs> the four of cups, cups represent like our emotional selves. So this is, um, this card specifically is saying we need a little bit of space. We need a little bit of, um, separation for lack of a better word, a little bit of self honoring the self here. And I think that you obviously have already honored that call because you're in the reveal your ritual program, which is all about discipline around our self and self care. This is super fascinating to me, you guys. So again, the first card we pulled was the five of pentacles, meaning that we're starting to see the benefits of our work of how we've been tapping in, especially over the past six months. So we had a crazy year of moons last year. And we like accelerated super quickly in the direction that we we're meant to be going in. And depending on how you locked in to that energy, now we're probably seeing a little bit of results here. We know that we're not finished with our work, but we're moving through it. This is in reference to making a really big decision. Um, I would definitely say in regards to our financial or how we create wealth, um, so you've made one big decision that was to arrive in this sacred space. And I want to honor you for that. Anything else that's coming up for you, I want you to take note of that in your journal and really like have your journal out. I should have said that in the beginning, but now let's take a moment, grab your journal, take notes for what's coming back. And if you need to rewind, rewind, tap in and receive. And then we've come up with the four of cups. Four of Cups means we need to take some space for ourselves. And I love this card because it's very, very rocky. It has a really high earth element. And this new moon is in Taurus. So there's this call back to nature, this call back to that sacred silence where you can only hear the wind in the trees. The bird, there's a bird out here called like, the Wabba Wabba or something that has this really unique and amazing call <laughs> and um, tapping into that silence is what's going to lead you through this decision. And let's just see what the next layer goes into. Wow. You guys, we're laying it on thick. <laughs> Spirit is laying it on thick today. Okay, so moving forward, we have another five, a five of cups. Five of cups means that we're, there's some sort of a loss. We have to step through something. We have to leave something behind. So, you know, don't be devastated by the skull. Let's think of this as like, we get to leave a former version of ourself behind. Um, someone who was scared, someone who was fearful of what they're being called to do. And we get to step into greater fulfillment. There is, we're going towards something. And right now you might only see this. You might only focus on this portion of the journey. There is like something that's calling you that needs to be said, acknowledged, given thanks, and then move beyond. And I see you. And I want you to know in my heart that you're ready for this. So whatever you're feeling that you need to acknowledge, give thanks to, and move beyond the time is now. As a matter of fact, as we're moving through this new moon, I want you to take note of this card. This is a symbol for when we get to the half moon between new and full moon. So it would be a week from today, next Saturday, that that would be coming around. I want you to put a note in your calendar to put an alarm in your phone and just kind of take note of the energy of that day really, really, really try to be super alert. And now that I know this, I kind of have an idea of what direction we're going to go in for that particular day in the reveal your ritual. So that should be, well, I'll bonus something out to you guys if it's not already in the linked up in the time frame. So this is, again, we're having also a reference that we're getting closer to our wholeness, right? Like we're almost there, you guys. We've crossed so much. We're just opening to what's next and we're almost there so this next level and i want to share with you 
the wheel is a super full card. This is the last card of our reading. The wheel acknowledges that we are infinite in opportunity, in time, and in space. We are also seasonal and we're learning to honor those seasons. And right now this season is calling us to dive deeper into our sacred, acknowledge and honor what we have to leave behind, make the decision that moves us forward into deeper fruition, abundance, love, wealth, most importantly, it's the decision that creates greater impact for your life and really helps you tap into your sacred purpose. So the Wheel of Fortune, I, I just love this card. It's, it's truly kind of a mysterious card in its fullness. It really, I'm just going to tap in to see what's next. So as a little hint as to what that's referring to, we're starting a new business, starting a new business venture and thinking about how we make money in different ways. Um, and I don't just want to say money. I want to say how we receive prosperity, abundance, and wealth because wealth can come in different forms. It can come in a gift, um, a coffee. It can come in, it doesn't have to come only in material. There's also a wealth of like spirituality that we're tapping into. We're, we're going to come into this blooming space and really be starting this new venture. So what a powerful card to end this reading on. And if you, if this reading resonated with you, drop me a line in the Facebook, DM me on Instagram. Um, I'm just going to do a quick run through again because I think it's important that you guys receive this fully. Let me just lay these out. All right. So we started with the five of pentacles, meaning that our work, our journey, we're in progress. We're receiving a little bit of the bounty back to what we've placed into our work. Next was we have a major decision to make. And I also want to take note that it's a time to be fearless because we get to spend time with ourselves and take that sacred quiet time to root and then we get to rise. Take note of this day. This is the half moon between the new moon and the full moon because I feel like there's something that energetically is going to shift on this day we get to honor something that we have to leave behind to move forward to where we're going. And it might be emotional and it might be scary, but I don't want you to get stuck staring into the abyss. I want you to dive into the abyss. Get into your journal, understand what is this that's coming up for you that's holding you back from moving forward towards your dreams. Lastly, we received the wheel, a very full and abundant card, honoring the seasons of life that we go through Honoring our wholeness in this moment, our wholeness, exactly, we are exactly where we are meant to be, and we get to move forward knowing that and acting out of that fullness, that deep integrity that I spoke about in the beginning of this call, we get to move within that. So that doesn't leave us. If we keep acknowledging it, which reveal your ritual, we're going to acknowledge that wholeness every single day, you guys, every single day. And there's something around the corner, a new beginning, um, deeper wealth, deeper abundance, and just deeper, I'm seeing this as like a deeper, also a deeper generosity with how we live our lives and who we spend our time with and honor our, our sacred call with. So for those of you who are in transit or trying to grow your business, this is a powerful card. This is something, look at how many, we had two aces, you guys. This is fantastic. This is new growth, new beginning. And it might fucking look scary, excuse my language, but trust that you are exactly where you need to be. I'm getting in the mic. Trust exactly where you need to be right here, right now with me in this sacred space, in this sacred offering to make those decisions and also take note of this day in your calendar. <clears throat> if this resonated with you sisters, I would love for you to 
drop me a line in the Instagram or in the Facebook, leave a comment. Tell me what came through for you. Honored to walk with you on this path. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend, y'all. Bye.